Good morning all you wild critters, how are you doing today? Comment down below how you're doing, because I do in fact care about you guys, most importantly. Anyways, last video I said I was going to show you guys how to make crested gecko food, or how to prepare food for your crested gecko. That's what we're going to start off with today. Just going to check on Cookie here before we get into the video. So he's hanging out, he or she's hanging out right here in this plant. That seems to be his favorite spot for now. Although I did put food in. I don't know if he actually touched any of it. So we're going to have a look at that before, before we anything i just missed the cage down a little bit ago so so it doesn't look like he touched much of it so i'm gonna take this out because we're gonna replace it with some fresh stuff anyways now because you in my life you saw my last vlog the food i ordered did not arrive so i had to just go to my local pet store here and get the food that I can find there and the kind that I use. I use Pangea as the Crested Gecko food, a Crested Gecko diet or formula or whatever it's called, something like that. That's the kind that I use and that, in my opinion, is the the best food to get. It is the, the probably the most expensive, but not too expensive. The, the next, probably the most popular brand of Crested Gecko food is called Rapashi. Although there's things about that that I've heard about not being too healthy for your gecko or things like that. As well as uh, the Zoo Med food that we are using today for, for now until I can hold over and get a, a bag of Pangea. What I have now will do. This is the food we are going to be using today. As you can see, I had already opened it up, so you won't get to see me open it up, but it is the Zoomed Crested Gecko food, and this is watermelon flavored. So this is uh, probably the cheapest stuff you can get. So until I can get the, the Pangea, this is what I'm using for now. All right, so you have a dish to put the food in. Uh, I don't have a lid for this one. I already have some made up in a smaller container, so I'm just going to make a little bit to show you guys what to do, and then I'm just going to re-add it to that one later. But I can at least use this to show you guys exactly what to do. This food that I just showed you guys... It also comes with the scooper inside of it, so what we're going to do is add, I'm going to add three scoops. show you guys exactly what it's a powder and what you do you see that you can't see that great huh there now you probably can anyways it's a powder so what you do is I added way too much, I think. 
Anyhow, it's fine. We can just add more water. And uh, it'll last me longer, basically. So, I, I have this plastic spoon just to use to mix with. So, we're going to add some water. Just a little bit. Should be good. Now we'll come back and mix it through the spoon. Now, sometimes Crested geckos like it more watery and others like it more creamy. Find out what your crested gecko likes as well as the different flavors. Uh, some are picky and only like certain flavors, so keep that in mind. Uh, try out what, try out different flavors and see what your gecko prefers. Some might only like one kind and will only eat one kind over another kind. So that is something you're going to have to uh, figure out. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Another cup. There we go. Another spoonful, rather. There we go. That's good. That's about the consistency that you want it at. Um, I'd say the best way to describe it is more creamy than, but not super solidified. I kind of want to come, I usually, the best way I like, compare it to is like a cake mix consistency. So, I'm going to put Now I'm going to put this in the a little the little cup that you put feed your geckos. So I have these smaller ones because mine is still a young hatchling. So you, there's uh, small ones you can get and larger ones you can get depending on what you need for how much food you your gecko, how big your gecko is, so, you, obviously if it's small, so you just want to put food in there like that. You don't need too much, but I always like to give a little bit more than I probably do, just to be on the safe side, and I'm not, you know, really wasting too much, so it doesn't really, doesn't really matter too much, so now let's go give it to, uh, let's go give it to Cookie. All right. Open his enclosure, his or her enclosure. Still don't know if it's a male or female. I have the food right here, so we're going to we're going to put it in here because it's closer to the plant. It's still young, so I think closer to the plant might be best. So, well, now we'll just wait and see till he or she smells it and eats it. Most likely will not be till later tonight, so we'll, we'll see. So, this cookie again, right in the same spot from earlier. So, um, they are mostly nocturnal, so at nighttime is when they're most active. So that's why I said he or she probably won't be looking for the food until after it gets dark later. So that is something that I probably won't get on camera at least. I might not get it on camera yet for a few days. If it might still be too early for him since I got him. He might need more time to settle in still. So we'll see and you guys will be updated. So now I'm just putting the the new stuff in with the stuff I made yesterday, adding it to this container that I have. But I forgot to mention, 
is uh, it, you keep it in the refrigerator after you make it. That, that's something I think I forgot to mention earlier. So I just wanted to make sure that I said that so you guys didn't not do that and have your food dry out and go bad and be like, what the fuck, man? So that's what you do. So I have this all filled up with the new stuff that we just made and I am going to put it in the refrigerator like I said. I'm just going to put that down here. There, I should be good. Not related to this vlog, but I wanted to show you guys that we actually had some uh, some snow, some fir first snow of the the season technically because the last snowstorm we had I don't think counts because it was a rainy mix and nothing really stuck but I just wanted to show you guys and now I got some mealworms to feed to Cosmo my leopard gecko I think she's ready. Look at her. She's smart. She knows. She can probably smell them. There you go. There you go. Look <laughs> at you. Right here, sweetie. I think it's dying, so it's not as moving around much. It's right, in, it's right underneath you. Right here. <laughs> okay, I'll just give you another one. Oh, well, you got half of that one. <laughs> Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over to this side. Come over here. Oh, you got half of that one too. <laughs> Crazy girl. You know, I'll just put these in there. <laughs> here, hold on. Let me get another one here. Let's come over to your water, your, your food dish. Come over to your dish here. Here. Right here. Right in front of you. <laughs> Look down. Look down. Look down. Look down, sweetie. I think she sees it now. Oh yeah, she does.
Vem cá, irmão. E o Dash? E o Dash, pai? Come over here. Come over here. Come over in your dish. Is your mealworm dish, sweetie? Hi, small. Sweetie. Hi, small. Over here. Alright, well. She'll see it. She'll see it. She's too focused on on me. She knows where I, I'm giving her the food. Here. Here. Come on, follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. Follow me to the dish. Follow the worm to the dish. Because there's more wormies in the dish. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. You got that one. Come here. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on, sweetie. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Come on. In here. In a dish. Here you go. Look at In the dish. Look at you got all these in the dish. All in the dish. Look at see them. Yeah, now you see them. Eat those up, and that's all you're gonna get. There's more in there, sweetie. There's more in there. There's more in there. Okay. Cosmo. Say goodbye to everyone. Say goodbye to everyone and go eat your wormies, okay? Okay. We'll come back later. Cookie is still right here and his favorite is her favorite plant. So I don't think the food was touched yet. So So I I may need to put him her into I may end up having to use a smaller enclosure until he or she is big enough to come back into this one if it continues to not eat after a few days. So I'm just going to keep an eye out. I, I might move the food dish a little bit closer to that plant or something first, but we'll see and I'll keep you all updated. And, and that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.